Every day, each of us generates 600 grams of waste. Might not sound like much until you add it up. That's 226 kilos a year. So what happens to this waste once we send it out of our homes and our offices? Take Bangalore for example. 68% of the city's daily waste is wet waste. If it is properly segregated and processed, it can power our homes, even fuel the city's buses. But as individuals and businesses, we've had no control over waste management and no way to participate in a more sustainable waste management system. I think when we first started out, uh, we never segregated. It, and then BBMP started making noises about segregation. And then we felt, okay, let's, it's time to start this. But we also felt that even, if, even though we segregated, uh, we, we thought that the people who were picking up were probably mixing it all up. That was a problem. Secondly, it was difficult to get our staff to consistently segregate it properly. And third was we weren't sure where this garbage was going to end up. In 2012, major cities of the world generated about 1.3 billion tons of solid waste. If all this waste was loaded onto trucks standing in a line, that line would be so long that it would go around the earth 13 times. By 2025, these cities will be generating 2.2 billion tons of waste every year. Looks like that line of trucks just about doubled. How are we going to deal with all this waste if we don't take responsibility? Pranita Saxena is an impact entrepreneur transforming the way India is managing its waste. She and her team at Citizen Gate have already diverted over 15,000 tons of waste from landfills and 86% of the total waste they've collected has been recycled. Citizen Gage is making India the first country in the world to trace what happens to every bit of waste that is produced and actually have a system to use it. I think this is an amazing story and I'm excited to meet her at the Red Bangle studio to find out what her pursuit is all about. This awesome video is from Red Bangle, a global video agency. Email us on hello at redbangle.com. Meet the woman who is solving the world's waste crisis. Pranita, so what actually happens to waste when it leaves my home, my apartment? What is happening is if you're lucky, it'll end up in a landfill, hopefully somewhere far from your house. Otherwise, just a few streets away in an empty plot. So how much of our waste actually goes to a landfill? Today, about 90%. And let, let's be clear, landfill is just a glorified term for a ditch in the ground where the waste is just sitting there causing groundwater contamination, when it lights on fire, causing air pollution. And the 10% that is being recycled in some way is done so by rag pickers who are putting their health at risk and have a life expectancy of less than 39 years. Wow. I don't think that's really a system. Yeah, I've, I've worked, <laughs> I mean, I've lived and worked with rag pickers and I've stood in a landfill, so I know what it is. You can't stand there for more than a few minutes. I have no idea how people go in there pick up stuff to recycle out of a landfill. It's absolutely nauseating. There are uncertain substances to be able to do that, unfortunately. So that this is why there's a whole host of health issues around mm. this supposed system of recycling that we have that, mm. I mean, some people glorify, but I don't really see it as a sustainable system. So how are you and the team at Citizen Gage actually helping India trace every bit of waste and use it? The first step is to go in and create standards and train people as to how waste should be managed within a specific facility. So my team is actually going and telling you where to place bins, what should go in them, what size they should be, so on and so forth. Next, we actually sign up all the facilities we can access that can use any bit of waste. So that can be a biogas plant that can take in food waste, produce energy. It can be a composting facility, it can be a recycling center. So this is where we've created the grid. Now, transferring waste from someone who's producing it and has kept it separated to any of these facilities is run in an Uber-like fashion by engaging the informal sector in dignified jobs with GPS tracking on the vehicles. And we have a real-time operations team that is managing each transfer. Today, Citizen Gage works with nearly 50,000 people and over 300 businesses to divert 15,000 tons of waste from landfills. Their process has had an unprecedented 95% compliance at bin level. 
the highest anywhere in the world. Now, what happens to your waste once you've got the segregation right? Well, waste collectors use the Citizen Gauge app to transport your waste in a smart Uber-like manner. Your wet waste goes into a local biogas plant where it is converted into LPG and compost. And the dry waste is further segregated at sorting centers and center recycling facilities or incinerators. And that's how we can save plenty of resources from going to landfills. Getting Citizen Gauge on board has primarily helped us with one, reliability and pickup of garbage. Second, uh, they audit our garbage, they audit our processes to ensure that segregation happens uh, reliably within our organization. Third, it gives us peace of mind uh, in terms of where our garbage actually ends up and we, we can actually track where our garbage is actually ending up. So, Pranita, how are you using technology to help me as a consumer know what is happening with my waste and to know that my waste is not going to a landfill? Sure. So, the main product that we have for people who produce waste is basically a scorecard. Now, that scorecard tells you what is the potential in your waste based on what you're actually producing and our study of your waste profile. What happened operationally? Did your security guard fall asleep? You couldn't access the waste. We had a vehicle issue, so we had to schedule a later pickup. All of this is on that scorecard. Most importantly, if you're in an uh, apartment complex, for example, it actually breaks out what was the level of compliance of every single household in your building. Fabulous. If you're a restaurant, we actually do digital blueprinting where we can tell you which bin in which section. And even for corporates, we can gamify this whole thing and, you know, pitch accounts against product against you know finance or whoever so which else which team is managing exactly. it's segregating its waste properly exactly and therefore, because that is the biggest problem isn't it once it's absolutely. segregated it becomes a little easier to then manage it absolutely so based on how well you segregate if you have a system like ours where we utilize every ounce of waste then your segregation behavior determines your carbon footprint the Citizen Gate scorecard gives you a detailed view on how recyclable your waste is and how much of your waste was actually transformed into a resource. They call this the Waste to Resource Profile. So how do you improve your Waste to Resource Profile? Just segregate your waste correctly and that's a great start. With such data on our waste and waste habits, Citizen Gauge can help local governments deal with the garbage crisis and even plan infrastructure for the future. I think before Citizen Gauge, no one was collecting this data and we didn't see the potential for data in transforming our waste management systems. Today, if we know what kind of material is sitting where, and what can be done with it, we actually have the capability to make that match happen for its conversion into some recycled product or something new. Mm -hmm. And the way we use technology, because we're a platform, there's multiple layers of technology. So first, of course, we use applications, internal and external, to produce data around what is happening at every location. The next layer is really around sensors, where we cannot rely on someone punching in information. Um, it's not realistic. In those cases, we're relying on a range of sensors. Mm -hmm. And the last piece of this is actually innovation on the integration of processing technology. So today, you have to go buy solar technology, wind technology, biogas technology all separately. With this new technology partnership that we have, we can actually have one decentralized unit that is customized to your energy footprint at a particular site, mm. utilizing your food waste, your biohazardous waste, and your sewage even, to produce gas, to produce electricity, to produce heat, and even biochar that can be pelletized and given to other industries. India, let's be honest, we don't even have a very well-functioning centralized system, so we can get to decentralized solutions much faster here, and I think that's really the opportunity. It's all sort of leapfrog, leapfrog to the future. Exactly. We are actually beating resource recovery even in the most advanced economies in the world, because now we are better positioned to not just talk about circular economies like the Europe is doing, they can run a pilot here and there, we can build recycling economies at a city level, at a country level, at an industry level. What's the hardest thing? About? About working um, in waste management. 
So I think about being an impact entrepreneur and waste management in India today. I, I mean, I, I didn't know anything about waste. I literally didn't know. I studied economics and this is something that requires math, chemistry, biology, <laughs> physics, um, all these kinds of different skills. And I think there's not really a model to look to. So I think the hardest thing about working in waste management today and moving from waste to sort of recycling economies is figuring out so much that you have to learn uh, to be able to innovate. Acha Bolo, what is the funniest thing that's happened uh, when you've worked with waste? <laughs> okay, so one night I you know, got all dressed up to go to one of our restaurants as a customer. And you know, I put on my makeup, jewelry, everything, whatever. Despite that, I get to the restaurant and the manager's like, Madam Waste, this side in the back, Madam Waste. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, no matter what I do, everybody Uda wants wali. to take me to the trash. Wali ban gai. <laughs> oh, yeah. So all, all my friends have various uh, garbage queen, trash lady, trash talker. I, uh, there's, I don't know, an endless list of nicknames related to garbage and me. So what's your big goal for 2025 with Citizen Gage? So by 2025, God, please, I hope we have expanded into multiple cities. We are actually cities? running cities as in across the globe. Hmm. I also would love for us to have actually realized this waste to resource grid with decentralized processing. I just want to show the world that we can utilize every piece of waste that you're producing and that you as a facility owner, as a brand, can make the choice to invest in renewable energy and we'll run the plants for you. So just why aren't we all doing this right now? So I, I hope by 2025 we're all doing it. If you live in a large residential complex, work in a large business park or run large business operations, you should get in touch with Citizen Gage. It's time you and I became part of a sustainable waste management solution. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Do like and share this inspiring story. We've got many more coming your way. Thanks for watching.